Welcome to Dr. Tom Talks. Today, a special on the new variant of COVID-19 discovered recently in the United Kingdom. With the help of the biodigital human, I'm going to be talking about what this new variant is, how it came about, whether it's more transmissible, whether it's more deadly, and most importantly, whether the new COVID-19 vaccines work against it. So what is it? Well, it's been named B117, and all it is is it's COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2 that you see here, but with a few mutations. So if you spin, this is SARS-CoV-2 right here, a 3D uh, rendition of it, or COVID-19. If you spin it around, you'll see the RNA inside it. So this RNA that has the genetic material inside necessary to replicate these cells. And there are 23 different mutations in this new variant that was discovered not that long ago in the United Kingdom. So how did this come about? Well. If I skip to the next chapter, I'll show you how the virus attacks people with normal immune systems. And it gets into our cells, like, it, like as you see here, inside one of our respiratory cells through one of these receptors. And then it replicates, and then it can infect other cells, but it's usually cleared within a few weeks if you have a healthy immune system. Now, if you have an immune system which isn't functioning properly, say you're immunocompromised for some reason or another, the virus can exist in your body for longer and longer, up to months. And that will give it time when it replicates once it gets inside the cell to mutate. And that's probably how this virus uh, mutated and came about. So is it more transmissible between human to human? The answer seems to be yes. There have been a lot of numbers thrown out around, but it seems roughly it's 70% more transmissible from human to human. Now that doesn't mean that it's it's immune to washing your hands or wearing a mask or social distancing. So all of those measures should still be applied, but it does seem to be more transmissible between human to human. And as you can see in London, for example, in September, that was when it was discovered by November, a quarter of the cases with this variant and by December, two thirds were. But it also could be due to the fact that there are places with high populations of people and it could have just spread through that just because of close proximity of people. So we're still really looking into this. Is it more deadly? Well, obviously, if you get more cases of uh, COVID-19, if, um, if it's more easily transmissible, you'll get more hospitalizations and therefore you'll get more deaths. And so while it may not be per case more deadly, uh, it may actually increase the mortality rate. So finally, will the current vaccines work against COVID-19. Well, I'm just going to pause this just to go into very quickly some of the mutations that people are worried about that may think that may make you think, oh, the vaccine might not work about it. Well, these are the spike proteins on a uh, on the virus, and these are the things that are mutated in this particular variant of COVID-19. And these are the exact proteins that I'll show you how the uh, immune system attacks. Uh, this virus when it comes in. So it attacks these proteins so that they can't actually attach to these receptors and then get into our body and then replicate again and again and again. And they're actually tagged for degradation by other immune cells that, are, that then actually gobble these viruses up so that they can't infect us. And the worry is that this variant has such different spike proteins because they have been mutated that the vaccine won't work. What the vaccines do is they encourage the production of these antibodies, these green things right here, that those antibodies then won't work against those spike proteins. They won't grab onto them and they won't prevent infection. Well, the majority of experts at the moment actually believe that the, because of the vaccines encourage our immune system to make these antibodies, they don't just make one type of antibody for one type of protein on a uh, virus. They make multiple. And the belief at the moment is that these multiple antibodies will still be effective against this variant of uh, COVID-19. It may end up being the case that there are more mutations in the future, and it may end up actually being a little bit like the flu, in which case uh, the vaccines may have to be tinkered with uh, each year to make sure that we're protected against various different variants of COVID-19. But the good news is that these vaccines are actually very easily tinkered with uh, and changed. So uh, the scientists will cross that bridge when they come to it. This has been a special on the variants of 
COVID-19. This is Dr. Tom Talks. For more information, please go to biodigital.com.